Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome to Midtown USA for Farming Simulator 19. And it's been a while. I should, I suppose, maybe I should call this the return of Grizzly Bear Sims. Hopefully, that will not scoot us too far away from that auger there. We are loading dry fertilizer into our hoppers here. Um, from left to right, this one is lime, and then fertilizer, and then we have seed here. And we have just been uh, sort of setting up the farm for use here. And I'm um, going to go ahead and just shut that tractor off because we're going to do some seeding today. Um, it is just after 4 p.m. here in, uh, in Midtown USA. Now, Midtown USA is located in, um, in Missouri. Uh, I believe, hold just yeah, one it's located oh, in um, the lower Missouri area of the United States. And of course, Midtown USA, this is by the awesome mod author, CCS 101. And if you were not aware that this map has been released, and if you are not aware of where you can actually pick this map up, then uh, just head over to simplysafemods.com. Again, that's simplysafemods.com. And uh, you can pick this map up there from uh, from that mod hosting site. That mod hosting site, if you remember, I may have talked about it a little bit before I took my long hiatus. Um, it's been over six months. I think it was back in January when I released a few videos the last time. And, of course, I think, you know, um, I've got a lot to tell you. I've got a lot of things that's been going on in the past uh, seven or eight months or so, and obviously we're we're all smack dab into this uh, into this corona coronavirus pandemic, and um, lots have has been going on um, both here in my personal life, my work life, and everything else. Now, you know, the whole YouTube uh, content creation thing was really starting to uh, starting to get to me. I didn't have a whole lot of time. Um, there in the late uh, late 2019, early 2020 uh, year, and as a result, uh, that was one of the reasons why I sort of stepped away uh, for a period of time. And I wasn't sure. I'll be honest with you. I wasn't sure if uh, if I was ever going to come back to YouTube. Um, but I'm one of those guys that you know never say never um, sort of uh, mentality. And I left the door open, you know, I had conversations with uh, our friend Eustace Farmer, Atomic 67G, uh, um, numerous times about this, this subject, the subject of sort of my future, Grizzly Bear Sims future on YouTube and, and all of social media and everything. And the one piece of advice that my dear friend uh, EP did give to me was basically, you know, don't, don't close any doors. Uh, permanently, or certainly don't nail them shut if you can if you can certainly avoid it, and uh, that was very sound advice from from a very very dear friend of mine, and I appreciate him immensely um, in uh, in helping to uh, to provide that advice. Now let me just uh, get things going here. We are going to put uh, we're going to put wheat down in this field, and uh, let me lower this down. We're going to set our GPS because, well. You know why not? Um, so let me figure out my buttons here, and this is my. This will set my A track right there, and then we'll come up here and we'll hit our A again, and it's going to go over there just a little bit. We'll we'll come back and fix that um, fix that up. I have my, my tractor in the wrong position. We'll go ahead and hide the HUDs as well. Get that out of the way. And um, so, yeah, a lot has been going on. And before I get into that, because that may very well take me a couple of episodes to kind of go through everything that's been going on since, well, since we were last together in January. And of course, many of you have stayed in touch with me through uh, other means of social media other than YouTube, uh, like in Discord, for example. I, I see. A lot of you folks over on either on Eustace Farmer or again Atomic 67G. See here, see here we are some eight months after I stopped producing videos for YouTube, and I told you guys back then 
that uh, Eustace Farmer would always be Eustace Farmer to me. Uh, he can change his name as many times as he wants to, but, you know, I sort of got to know him um, as Eustace Farmer, and that was just the way it is. But anyway, the 67, Atomic 67G uh, community, and he has done some really amazing, amazing things with that, um, with that, uh, with that Discord community. And if you're not a member, head over there and check that out, and I'll throw a link down in the show notes, as always. And of course, my other my other dear friend in uh, in content creation, that being Doug Zorley, Doug Zorley Gaming, and um, and of course I see you all over there. And of course, many of you stuck around. Um, I rebranded my my own Discord, what used to be the Grizzly Bear Sims Discord channel, and more about Grizzly Bear Sims and Discord in a moment. Um, but I did rebrand that um, that Discord channel to reflect the Simply Safe Mods uh, website. And that's a place for uh, both not only uh, folks that, that download mods from that, uh, from that website, but also all of the awesome mod creators that, um, that do come out and help participate uh, with creating mods and supporting their mods and, and what have you. And um, let me get a screenshot here. You guys know how I like to have my thumbnails just right. Oops, wrong button, Jerry. Let me back the truck up here. Let me back the truck up here and uh, drop this guy back down. And uh, head back off here. There we go. I um, inadvertently use the button that is the screenshot key for prepared P3D, uh, which is obviously the B key. And uh, <laughs> anyway, so easily corrected, easily corrected. But um, yeah, so the, the Simply Safe Mods uh, Discord channel used to be my own Dis or Grizzly Bear Sims Discord uh, channel. And I basically rebranded that because I had a fairly large audience of um, Discord members. Did not want to lose any of you fine folks. Um, but because so many of you uh, came to me, came to know me through Farming Simulator, um, I felt that it was a good time you guys just you know stick around there and uh, so many of you have. So I am in the process of creating another Discord channel called Grizzly Bear Sims that will be for my content creation stuff because I don't want to confuse um, the matter because Simply Safe Mods is really sort of geared towards farming simulator mods. That's all I have hosted right now. Uh, if you haven't taken a look at that website, please please do so. Again, it's simplysafemods.com and I'll put a link down in the show notes uh, to that where you can always, always find uh, that and again, CCS 101, uh, at least for now, it's exclusively available at simplysafemods.com. And I really appreciate uh, CCS 101 uh, for hosting uh, his mods uh, with simplysafemods.com. Of course, we have exclusive hosting for Bullet Bill and all of his treasures that he has uh, sort of brought back to life for Farming Simulator 17. So if you still play a mixture of Farming Simulator 17 and 19, don't worry. Uh, you can get those fine Bullet Bill mods uh, for Farming Simulator 17 uh, over at simplysafemods.com. Um, so I will probably mention simplysafemods.com you know, quite a bit in my videos, at least in my farming uh, Farm Simulator videos, just because uh, if I am using a mod that is available from simplysafemods.com, I'll certainly let you know about that. Now, um, for those folks that have been with me, that have uh, been watching my videos, my content since really the beginning of the Grizzly Bear Sims um, birth into, into YouTube and content creation and everything, then you know that I also have my mod spreadsheets located over on grizzlybearsims.com. And um, you can find those, and if you see something that you like um, that I'm that I'm playing with here on the maps, 
then you'll find the links to those and they're organized by um, by version so I've still got my even though I don't play farming simulator 15 anymore I still have all those mods listed so if you're watching some of those old videos of mine and you wonder okay where do I get that plow as an example um, then that is where you might be able to find it now I say might because obviously um, since I'm not playing 15 anymore I'm not validating those links um, if they are true or not so I don't know you might uh, your mileage might vary just a little bit but uh, to kind of get back into the storyline of things as far as they're going to relate to the grizzly bear sims youtube channel um and kind of a little bit about what's been going on in my life and, and again i i do anticipate it taking a couple of videos to kind of get through everything but sort of the long and the short of it is that um, in July of this year, 2020, um, 15th of July, I was made redundant from my job, laid off from my job from the company that I had worked with for 22 years. And um, it has been quite a blow, um, not only financially, um, and of course that is why Hopefully you've read my notices and everything on Discord about the advertisements on simplysafemods.com as well as grizzlybearsims.com. Uh, I need to allow those websites to pay for themselves, if you will. But uh, yeah, it came quite as a shock financially, uh, a little bit to my ego because I mean, you know, I worked for this company for 22 years. That's a long, long time. Um, and um, I was really fingers crossed, hoping that, you know, I could get another eight, maybe ten years out of this that, that particular company, and I would be set to retire. I would be ready to retire. So having said that, um, I am obviously in the process of looking for another job, looking for another company that would be willing to host me, hopefully for, you know, that eight to ten year time frame until I'm ready to retire. Um, just trying to find the right fit and the right position and all of that good kind of stuff. And so many people in the world today are in the exact same predicament that I'm in. So many of you buying people have, uh, have lost your jobs, jobs that you may have had for a very long time. And, um, and trust me when I say, I, I feel your pain. I know, I know exactly uh, I know exactly what you're uh, what you're going through, and um, you know you will all be in my thoughts and prayers um, going forward. That we can not only put this whole uh, pandemic thing and everything to bed by finding a vaccine and, and and help cure the people that that have contracted this coronavirus, but that we can also help to rebuild our economy and get everybody back to work that obviously needs to get back to work. But over the past um, month, because it's coming as I'm recording this video, it's been about a month since I've been uh, laid off. Uh, I have been busy doing DIY. I've been doing a lot of DIY. Um, our house is nice. It's wonderful. Um, but uh, the last time the interior had been painted was about 16 years ago. And so we have been going through, and of course, I probably talked a little bit about this last um, when I was recording videos before. My wife and I had been painting downstairs, and we did all that kind of in the late fall of 2019, and at the ceiling and all that kind of stuff. I think I showed some pictures of, of that work here on the channel or on Discord, one of the two. And... Um, so now I've been working upstairs, um, have uh, completely started working on the master bedroom to completely repaint that, redo the ceiling, redo the walls, uh, sand, and uh, repaint the skirting boards or the baseboards. And, um, and it's just a lot of, it's a lot of work. And, uh, it, and I've got time. I've got time to do those kind of tasks because before, before the news came down about my employment and or lack thereof we had talked about having someone come in and do that and so now that 
now that I'm unemployed, thankfully my wife is still employed, uh, but now that I am unemployed and I'm capable of doing those kind of things, that's what I have been doing. So it'll be a little bit of, you know, light carpentry. Um, I'm going to be replacing our back deck, uh, the upstairs uh, deck off the master bedroom. We'll get that uh, replaced. We'll be putting down that uh, Trex material uh, for that, plus a nice railing. We'll do that in the fall whenever it cools down a little bit. And um, but yeah, so some paint, some you know, some trim work here and there, and and just kind of staying busy. So you know, I know that there's no way that I can replace my income with what I can make or generate through YouTube. Um, but I'm going to somewhat, I think, diversify, for lack of a better description, my YouTube channel over the coming weeks. And because I've got a little bit of time, I've actually got a lot of time um, after the DIY projects and everything are completed for the day, to, uh, to record videos, record content for YouTube, and make it available for everyone. And so... Part of this uh, re-diversification, if you will, is that I'm going to sort of go back to my, uh, if you go to grizzlybearsims.com, you know that sort of my tagline is planes, trains, and automobiles, and farming too. And kind of kind of go back, and, and obviously I'm going to have farm sim content on the channel. We'll, we'll most likely have... Um, truck uh, American truck simulator content on the channel maybe some euro truck but you know um, Idaho came out a couple of weeks ago Colorado is you know imminent at any any point in time we could get noticed that Colorado is about to drop and obviously living in Colorado that is going to be something that excites me and then um, my my real true passion as far as simulators go is obviously flight sim and Microsoft, it was released uh, about 14, 15 months ago. Microsoft has been working on Flight Simulator 2020. That is due to drop on the 18th of August. Now, I don't know when this video is actually going to release. Um, I hopefully will get this video out before the 18th of, of, of August. And maybe another, you know, a couple of more Farm Sim videos on um, this map. On Midtown USA but I also plan to uh, I also plan to record some content some flight sim content uh, initially it will probably be as far as flight simulator 2020 goes it will probably be a lot of tour kind of stuff you know like uh, we'll depart perhaps like uh, an idea depart Cairo um, and fly over the pyramids and you guys can see how true to life kind of um, the, the pyramids are depicted in Microsoft's new Flight Simulator 2020. And it's going to be it's going to be a thing of beauty. It's going to be like unlike anything that we've actually ever had before. You know, up until now, most ground textures and such were, you know, almost cartoonish in nature, um, photorealistic kind of imagery and everything flat, kind of flat images in, in some aspects. Um, but this is going to be based off of uh, Microsoft's own Bing satellite imagery, and it is just truly amazing. And so that releases on the 18th, so I will probably, once that gets downloaded and installed, will probably put a little bit of content out uh, from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and then uh, obviously Farm Sim, Truck Sim, and uh, we'll just kind of we'll just kind of go from there. As far as schedule goes. I'm going to just play things by ear for right now because I think that's going to be better for me. That's a better balance for me in uh, managing the DIY projects, which obviously have some uh, precedence within my life, my family, my wife and I and everything, um, and also the channel, the content and stuff like that. But I would envision that kind of once I get kind of a grasp on on uh, the DIY projects, maybe when uh, fall gets here and things cool down a little bit, then I will develop some kind of schedule, some kind of, of method of letting you all know when I'm doing what and that maybe some live streams involved, uh, obviously some uh, Discord 
maybe some live streams on YouTube or Twitch or both or, you know, whatever. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm back. I'm back for now because I think I lost my train of thought a few minutes ago. I was talking about my job situation. Obviously, I'm going to be looking for a job. Um, it is not the easiest um, thing to accomplish in this climate, in this environment that we find ourselves trying to f survive in, quite, quite frankly, this whole new normal, which I hate that terminology, but that's probably a subject matter for a different time. But um, obviously, if I if I find a job, um, or maybe I should say when I find a when I find a job, it may have an impact to my scheduling for YouTube content creation. We will we will just have to kind of wait and see how that is going to sort itself out. Um, coming up on 22 minutes here, you guys know I like that magic number of 30 minutes or less uh, for my videos because I think that's easier for you guys to consume as well. Um, if you are new to my channel, if you have stumbled upon the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, please click the like button, subscribe button, and um, click the little bell so that you'll be notified when new videos come available. And in the coming weeks, um, I will put together some kind of schedule that will uh, both help me and also help you understand when I will be releasing content and what I'm doing. Um, if you are also new to this, uh, to my channel, uh, something that my channel is all about, and that is Rated G. Um, I pride myself in the fact that I produce 100%, regardless of what I'm doing, whether I'm driving a tractor, flying a plane, a train, driving a truck, what have you, uh, my content is always going to be 100% family friendly, rated G. There's no um, innuendo, no bad words, no, no nothing. Um, I like to keep things family friendly because um, so many of you have told me over the years, and I think I've been doing this for uh, about five years now. So many of you have said, yep, you know, I don't worry. I put my grandkids or my kids down in front of the computer and let them watch uh, Grizzly Bear uh, do some farming or some trucking or whatever he's doing because I don't have to worry about, you know, something, uh, them hearing something that is not appropriate. So uh, everything is 100% rated G. I run my Discord channels the same way. My admins that I have all know that they have full authority of the swinging the, the band hammer. If uh, somebody gets out of line and is doing something stupid, then they have the authority to go ahead and just boot them out because I don't have time for that. And um, so those are kind of the promises from me to you as far as content creation and what you can find here on, uh, on my channel. So with that said, and because we are approaching about 24 minutes here on the clock, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching my videos. Thank you for tuning in um, from way before as well as tuning in now. And I appreciate that so very much. And we're going to, uh, I'm probably going to do another video here um, here momentarily, probably probably this afternoon. Um, and uh, I wanted, like I said, I wanted to try to build up a little bit of a backlog of videos, just that way I can keep things consistent for just a little bit until I start with, until the 18th gets here, which is, I believe, next week sometime. Tuesday or Wednesday, and uh, can start putting out content, some mixed content, some of the flight sim stuff, some of obviously the farm sim and the truck sim stuff. And uh, so just just kind of bear with me, hang in there. I, I appreciate you guys' patience and everything. And I appreciate your patience also, um, very much so, over the past um, over the past six to eight months since it, it has been since I have released a video on the channel. Um, you didn't you didn't unsubscribe and I really appreciate that like I said my good buddy Eustace Farmer gave me that advice never say never don't uh, don't put yourself into a situation that um, you know you permanently close doors you always want to keep yourself an option going forward and um, and so that's you know I'm glad that I I'm glad that I listened to him on that because I was so busy 
uh, back at the first part of the year that you know I couldn't couldn't really see um, the forest for the trees. But um, anyway, having said all that, please take good care of yourself in this climate that we are finding ourselves surviving in. Um, you know, I don't want to tell you what to do, mask, no mask. I'm not, I'm not that. That's not my job. Uh, you've got local and state governments and everything that's telling you all that kind of stuff. But just be careful, be safe, um, protect yourself and your family, your loved ones, your friends. And uh, come back here to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel um, for another video very, very soon. God bless you all. Take good care of yourself and also of each other. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.